Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, June 1st. We're still working on coordinate points, coordinate pairs, remembering what we need to do to find and plot our points. So let's begin our target today. I can plot points, use them to draw lines in the plane, and describe patterns within the coordinate pairs. So you will need a pencil and paper. Your vocabulary, coordinate pairs. A pair is two, and X and Y are our coordinates. So our X will always go first, and our Y will always go second. And we'll get in that, and we'll get into that a little bit later when we start our lesson. Uh, fluency, let's do our multiples of seven. Are you ready? You can jump in, do jumping jacks. You can take a walk and say them. You can skip. You can click your fingers, whatever you'd like. Are you ready? Here we go. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84. Okay. Make sure you're practicing fluency. It's so very, very important. Okay, our target, I can plot points, use them to draw lines in the plane, and describe patterns within the coordinate pairs. So let's do a quick recall of how to name points. Two things to begin. We need to label our X and our Y. Our X is always side to side, which is horizontal. And our Y is always vertical, up and down. The X will always come first. Your Y will always go second in that order forever. And this is how you would write your pairs. You see the parentheses and then you have your X first. And then you have your Y second. So you're going over, then you're going up. And when they name a point, they put a letter with it. They named A. Let's look at A. We went over 6, up to 5. So this would be 6, comma 5. And we separate the two numbers with a comma. So it doesn't look like we're saying 65. We're saying 6 comma 5. B, we have, think about that. Have your answer in your head. And you go over 9. And you go up 1. 9 comma 1. C, over 2 and up to seven, two, comma, seven. Always going over first and always putting your X axis first. This is your X, this is your Y, up and down. D, this one's tricky because we didn't go anywhere on the X axis. So that would give us zero, we didn't go anywhere. And then we went up to 4. So it would be 0, comma, 4. And E, another tricky one, we did go over to the 6 on E, but we didn't go up at all. So we would say on the y-axis, that would be 0. So as long as you keep those two things in mind, you're going over first, up second, putting your X first and separating it with the comment Y. Okay. Here we have some points. Let's point these together and find out what the rule is. Here we go. Let's plot point A. So our X is zero and our Y is zero. That would take me nowhere. I didn't go to the right on the X, and I did not go up on the Y. 
So that is going to be right here, right on what we call, and you should know this, the origin, 0, 0. I'm plotting my point. I didn't go in right and I didn't go up. And that's what we're going to label A. That's the first one. B, 1, comma 1. I go over 1 and I go up to 1. That's where I plot my point. Over 1, up 1. Over and up. And we're going to label that B. C, 2, comma 2. Over 2, up 2. We went over and up. I'm plotting my point. And I'm going to label that C. And then there's D, 3, comma 3. 3 over 3, up 3. And we're going to label that D. Okay. What rule is there? If you notice, look at your X and look at your Y. All of the Y's, all of, I'm sorry, all of the X's went up by one. And the Y's, they all went up by one. So that's how you would figure what the next point would be. What, what would you say if I had E here? What would that be? 0, 1, 2, 3. For the X, I'm going to put 4. For the Y, I would also put 4 because the pattern is showing that it's going up by 1. 1, 2, 3 from 0. So it would be 4, comma 4. So this would be where E would be. Okay. Let's do this again with more coordinate pairs. What is the rule? So L, M, and N we're going to do first. Okay. Okay. So let's try L, M, N first and then do O, P, Q second. Here we go. L, the X and the Y. Zero nowhere on the X and then going up to 3. And I'm going to put my point on that and I'm going to label it L. M 2 over 2 <clears throat> up 3. Over 2 up 3. I'm going to label that M. My next one, 4 on the X, go up 3. I see a pattern. I hope you see it too. For this line, if you connect the dots as straight as you can, which I'm trying. Okay. We notice something here. What is the rule? Our X went up by 2 each time, and our Y stayed the same. So that means if I plotted any other points, our X would be different, but our Y would be the same. It would all be on 3 going across. So you'd have a straight line right on 3 for the Y axis. Let's try points 0, P, and Q. So now again, we have point our x and our y and we've got 0, 0. That again is our origin. I plot that point and I name it O. My next one is 1 over 1 up 2. That's going to be P. My next one is 2 up to 4. 
and I'm going to label that Q. Okay, what's our pattern for this one? Our X's went up one, zero, one, two. So the next one would be three. Our Y is going up by two, zero, two, four. My next one would be six. If I plotted that three to six, I would be right here. Okay, all right. All right, so our target today, I can plot points, use them to draw lines in the plane and describe patterns within the coordinate pairs. So yes, your points, where you're at your points, you connect those lines like or points like we did to form a straight line. Okay, so let's review what we did today. First, as always, we labeled our origin, 0, 0, x, y, and x and y axis. We're labeling all of those first. Next, we make a scale. If you go back and look, here's our scale. I went 1. We did 1 to 10 for this side, and the y axis, we did 1 to 10 as well and we labeled them with our X and our Y. We also labeled our coordinate pairs and gave them a name with a letter. Let's go back. We labeled this as L, 0, 3 was L, 0, 0 was an O, 1, 2 was P, and so on. Okay, so you can also draw your lines So you can connect your dots, try to make a straight line as you can, or use a ruler of straight edge. And lastly, we found out what our rule was and why that made our lines different from one another. Okay. So please reach out to me if you have any questions. I think this is pretty self-explanatory, but if you have any questions, you may email me like some students have been doing, which I really appreciate and I also look forward to getting some of those emails because I do miss you guys. So have a great night. Miss everybody and hope everyone is doing well.